Okay, and do you like sports? And what kind of sport do you like best? So let's keep on to the next part. Sporting British schools. And the topic for today is talking about the British schools. And we're talking about the boys and girls who have classes in British schools. And what kind of sport do they like in their schools? But before that, I want to ask you the questions. Um, what kind of sports do Chinese students like best? So, I mean, um, in your school, I mean, what do you often play? Okay, think about it. I give you 10 seconds. Okay, time's up. I want to tell you uh, what do you often play at your school. Uh, let me let me think. Okay, uh, okay. Just so tell me that I can hear you. I can hear. Okay. Some say uh, football. Okay, good. Some say running. Ah, uh, okay, running. Uh, shouting. Uh. And some say basketball. Good basketball. And and what else? Oh, ping pong. Good. What music? No, I mean sports, not music. Okay. And what a drawing! Hey, 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 hey! Come on, not music, not drawing. We're talking sports. Okay, let's conclude. In China, most Chinese students like to play、um, football first. Not very, very, very、uh, formal, but just play around football in a playground. And then I, I believe that you may play、um, basketball, right? And maybe ping pong. You know, ping pong is very popular in China, and we call them a national ball. 啊、um, ，乒乓球被称之为国球，所以我认为大家一定都会玩。And some badminton， 羽毛球也是我们的国球 ，right? Because we are very good at small balls. 我们中国人最擅长就是小球了。Not including the big balls， 但是大球游戏 ，for example the football, basketball, we're not very good at them, right? Okay, so here we go. Unless it's sporting British schools, not Chinese schools. Here we go. We spoke to two difficult British teenagers. To find out about the sports they do at school, if you are interested in that, I want to do a survey to ask your friends and your classmates in different kinds of schools in Beijing or in other parts of China, what do students in China like playing at school? But here we go. We're talking about the teachers in Britain. What do they like at the school? Okay, sports in British schools. Now this is the first paragraph. Miriam Jackson. So this is、um, the first student we're talking about. I give you two minutes to read this paragraph and to get the main idea of this paragraph. Okay, here I stop for 15 seconds for you. Read it. Okay, time's up. Have you finished? Now let's read it together. Miriam Jackson is Year 11 student at Birmingham High School in the south of England. She has three hours of PE here, physical education, at school every week. In the winter, she usually plays netball and hockey. In the summer, she plays tennis. Outside school, Miriam plays football every Saturday for a local girls' team. She also goes swimming twice a week. Wow, this girl is so amazing. She likes a lot of sports, including some sports you do know it. For example, the hockey and netball. Right? I want to translate into Chinese. Marianne Jackson, the year 11. Year 11 here means age 15 to 16, and、uh, she's in high school in South of England, and she has three hours of PE at school every week. And how about you? How long have you have for your PE lessons? So she has three hours a week, and in the winter she will play netball and hockey. What do you play in winter? In the summer she plays tennis. How about you? What do you play in the summer? And next, outside school. That means after school, after class. Maria plays football every Saturday for a local girls team. Wow, that's amazing! A girl plays football. Do you play football? Okay, let's translate. Maria Jackson 呢是一个 Year eleven 就是我们说的十一年级的学生。那么十一年级这里给解释的是大概在十五到十六岁时候上学的地方。那么十一年级就已经是到达了高中了。那么他是在一个 Burnmouth 这个高中里面学习，这个地方是在英国的南部。
。那么他 every week， 我们倒着翻译，他每周呢会上三个小时的体育课。冬天他经常玩的是篮球和曲棍球，而夏天他经常玩的是网球。那么在校外呢，他还在每周六参加一个当地的一个女子的足球队。当然，他还会坚持一周两次去游泳。哇、wow, ，That's amazing. I want to ask you how often do you do sports? Maybe most Chinese says, "Oh, I don't have time. I have to do a lot of homework. I don't have time to do sports." Come on, well, um, whatever, whatever. How busy you are? I I really want you to do some sports. That's good for your health. Don't always sit at home and do your homework, because we call them homework. You need to go outside to do the sports to enjoy the nature. So that's why they say here, the girl,、uh, your 11th student, a girl, she likes. Doing the sports so amazing, huh? So let's read them again. Maria Jackson is your 11th student at Burnouts High School in the south of England. She has three hours of PE at school every week. In the winter, she usually plays netball and hockey. In the summer, she plays tennis. Outside school, Maria plays football every Saturday for a local girls' team. She also goes swimming twice a week. Maria Jackson is a 11-year-old student. 他就读于英国南部的 b u r n o u t High School。他每一周会有三个小时的体育课。在冬天，他经常玩篮球和曲棍球；在夏天，他经常打网球。在校外呢 ，Maria 嘛还参加了一个当地的女子俱乐部，是在每周六下午进行的。他同时还在坚持一周两次去游泳。Okay, so here we go. Let's read some keywords here. Number one, um, three hours of PE. PE is a subject we call it physical education. I mean, sport class. And next one,、um, usually, usually play. And the next one, outside school. Outside school means after class, not in school, huh? And、uh, every Saturday, every Saturday. And next one, a local girls team. Local, local means the area where you live. Local girls team. That means you join a team which is near you. 当地的一个 local is local. And last one, go swimming, go swimming, twice a week. Okay, here we go. This is about Maria Jackson. And next one, there's another student. Okay, I want you to read it first. I gave you two minutes to read this paragraph, and here we stop for 15 seconds for you. Okay, comes up another student, Jack. Jack Sean is year ten student at the Scared Heart, sorry, Secret Secret Heart School in Dorchurch in the Midlands. He has four hours sports at school every week. He plays football and rugby in the winter, and cricket and tennis in the summer. Jack is a member of his school football and cricket team. They usually play matches on Saturday mornings every summer. The football team goes to Europe to play against teams from the other countries. Wow, that's amazing! So this is a boy, huh, called Jack.、Um, Jack is a, a year ten student, and Maria is year eleven student, and he has four hours. Oh, one more hour, and he plays football and rugby. Oh, the boy loves football, big ball games, and.、Uh, He's also a member of school team, but he's in school team. But that girl, Maria, is in outside school, huh? And he's in the school football team and the cricket team. And they often go to Europe to to do some sports and to play against the other team from other countries. That's amazing. They often have competition. Okay, so let's read it and translate in Chinese. Jack Shawn is year ten. 那么 Jack 呢是十年级的学生，他就读学叫做 Secret Heart School in Dortwich, in the Dortwich 地方 in the Midland, 在在中部地区 And he has four hours sports at school. 那么他呢，学校里边上的呃体育课程是大概有四个小时的课程。那同时他在冬天的时候喜欢玩的项目就是足球和橄榄球，还有他在夏天喜欢玩的就是板球和网球。那么 Jack 呢，同时是他们校队的。
什么什么队的呢？一个是足球的，一个就是板球队。所以这个 Jack 比较忙哈。Jack 参加了学校的两个队，一个是 football team， 一个是 cricket team， 足球队和板球队。那么他们经常会在周六时候来进行训练，还打比赛。而且每年夏天，他们的足球队都会去欧洲跟其他国家的这个队进行一个友谊的联赛，叫做 play against here。OK， this is about story of Jack. So let's read again. Jack Schoen is a year 10 student at the Skate Creek High School in Dortrich in the Midlands. He has four hours sports at school every week. He plays football and rugby in the winter and cricket and tennis in the summer. Jack is a member of his school's football and cricket team. They usually play matches on Saturday mornings every summer. The football team goes to Europe to play against teams from other countries. Jack 呢是十年级学生，他就读于 d o r t r i c h 的高中。他每一周会有四个小时的体育课。在冬天，他喜欢玩足球和橄榄球；在夏天，他经常玩的是板球和网球。Jack 同时也是学校足球队和板球队的队员。他们经常会在周六上午打比赛。每年夏天呢，他都会随足球队到欧洲去，跟其他国家的队伍进行比赛。Okay, a year ten student. If you're in grade four, you may say a year four student. And the next one, rugby, rugby. And the next one, uh, cricket, football team, cricket team. And the next one, play matches. Play matches means have a competition, 打比赛 Play matches. And the next one, football team, 足球队 Football team. Play against, play against, 跟某人某人对决。那么 play against 表示某队对某队。那么他们经常跟别人来进行打比赛，叫做 play against， blah blah blah。The team from other countries， 来自其他国家的队伍进行一个联赛 ，play against。Okay。